Hey, what's up guys? It's been a long time. I know the weather's been like terrible over here and uh, I have a challenge today. Uh, I'm gonna try to put together this breeze. That's a uh, 11 feet uh, inflated, inflatable boat. And uh, the thing is, you know, you have no choice but to put it in the water and see if everything checks out. So I have never done it. Uh, that boat is good for four people. So I'm assuming that's uh, huge. With this boat comes the benches. The size of the benches says a lot about how big that inflatable boat is. Look, that's one bench. You see so they are not lying they are not lying really four people can sit this is aluminum you know maybe uh, it might become or get uncomfortable so you can bring a cushion something you know but at least it's like aluminum you know uh, the boat is from China Everything looks new. Chinese technology can be trusted, guys. I can certify that. Uh, this is not the first time that I'm uh, buying uh, made in China uh, stuff. Uh, I have motor, electric motorbike. Um, never had any problem or issue with it. And uh, I think uh, Chinese people are uh, uh, honest enough if there would be a problem or anything missing they would not hesitate uh, one moment to uh, send you whatever or try to accommodate you you know so let's see I got two like I have two like this one two I'm gonna put them aside all right got Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is like a dream. This is all new, so uh, you know. I mean, <laughs> it's it's good that you know, like uh, you do business with people. You're willing to pay the money, but you know, uh, it, it, this is not the first time I'm. Uh, uh, buying uh, inflatable boats and uh, it doesn't check out and the people are not, are not genuine, they're not honest, you know. Uh, but look, this is uh, Chinese, you can tell this is not something that's been sitting in the, in the guy's uh, garage and then sold it to me for over $2,000, almost $3,000 uh, US. So thus far, everything's cool, everything's new. They give you a pair, that's good. So let's unroll this baby and see what's up. Okay. Hey guys, you see that? The transom. Look at that. The transom is mounted, is already mounted with the boat. That's such a headache in terms of uh, if you have to well, not a headache, but if you have to do it yourself, it can be challenging and I didn't know what to expect. So, uh, you know, if you're gonna like put uh, a boat up, so I have my tools, ratchet, uh, screwdriver, you know, with different tools in case, uh, you know, <laughs> Anyways, uh, the people from before were, were not nice to me, even though the boat from before cost me almost 3,000 US dollars. Uh, the seat were missing, the oars were not there, uh, the boat was something sitting in the garage and they lied to me and uh, that's what mo motivates more and more people to do chi uh, business with, with Chinese. You pay your money, they give you everything new, you know? So that's, that's the, the thing, guys. You know, you want to do local business, but Chinese give you better deal. That's it. All right. This is a carrying bag. It's huge. 
I don't think I'm gonna use it, but uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> it's huge. All right, so I don't think I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. Uh, that boat, I don't think you can uh, carry that boat alone. You know, uh, it's it's not too heavy, but you cannot handle it well. I wouldn't carry that on a bogey. But anyways, you know, I'm happy the transom where you put the engine, it's already mounted with the shell, so that's good, you know. What? You're wondering why why go for inflatable? Why not go for a hard shell and pay less money? You're right. A hard shell boat, it's a thousand dollars and you get uh, something that's 12 feet long, even more for just a thousand dollars. But after going boating, where do you park it? Uh, I mean, where do you park it? That's the problem. You're gonna have room, you know? Where do you park it? That's, that's, that's a big problem. That's why uh, most people are uh, turning into, uh, you know, inflatable boats. When you're done, you deflate it, and then you just wrap it up. Look, so this is the, the boat right there, guys. And yeah, I believe them four people could fit in. The transom is maybe two inches thick, so that's where the engine would go. So, all right. So let's unfold it like this. All right. So that's the boat. I'm not getting a boat just for fishing, you know. I remember, you know, back in the days, just taking a car ride with the family was an outing, it was uh, something uh, special. So going on the water, even if you're not fishing, it's, you get to see something uh, that you usually uh, that you're not familiar with. You know, we know uh, most of us haven't been on the water. Uh, it, this is not our element. It's like going to the moon or on Mars. You, you need a lot of stuff. You need a life vest. Uh, you need a whistle. You need a, a flashlight in case you fall in the water, you know. And all of that must be waterproof. So if the lead goes into the water, it's waterproof. The whistle gets wet. You can still blow the whistle clearly, crystal clear. Okay, so that's the thing, uh, you know, but it's fun. If you get your license, because you know it, that's a business. Every time you get a new vehicle or whatever, whatever, uh, then, uh, they're gonna come after you so yeah I went online and you studied for uh, one or two days and then they threw a couple of exam stuff you must answer so you're not a lost puppy you must know what you're doing or you're gonna endanger yourself and the people that are in, on the boat with you you know yeah get your license it's a business I know but what can you do you know Okay. With your brace, you get a repair kit. You get uh, this from Mrs. Wang. General Manager Susan Wang. All right. And this is to state it or go in or or flush everything or and uh, 
the, the make, the, the size, the weed, this boat right here can hold up according to this chart right here. 10 horsepower engine. So yes, four people, you would, that's powerful guys. Considering the fact that uh, you're not getting a boat to race, you're getting this to get around. So no one is gonna like, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna drive like a madman and tipped over. So anyways, that's the, this is Wang GM. I think Chinese care a lot about their business, the way they make everything uh, clear, so there's no uh, ambiguity, no ambiguous. Man, I, I shouldn't use like sophisticated word. Anyways, you got a manual pump, okay? Everything looks impressive. Look at the manual pump. This is, this is of high, high quality, guys. Yeah. This is really, really high, high quality. So, uh, okay. But I choose to have my trusty professional electric pump. This electric pump right here gives you the exact PSI that you need, all right? So once you turn it on, there's no mistake. It's got all the wires to connect. It's got different uh, tips. This is amazing, look. Upon what you're getting and uh, look how many tips. Well, I said it's professional and now you see why. It's got different nozzles, you see? To make sure that you'll get the right uh, thing fit. Now I'm gonna share a secret with you. Let's say this professional air pump, electric pump, none of the nozzle would fit. Ta-da! Then you would take this nozzle. Yeah. Yeah, you see? This is pressure pushed. So you can probably like, you know, I'm not gonna do it, but you can use this one. You know this one works for the boat 100 percent for sure. So let me see. It looks big. Let me see. And I might have to do that. <laughs> I just might, but it's okay. You know, at least you can use this. Or the way our uh, planet is now, everything is so professional. Oh, okay, look, maybe. Anyways. The way our planet is made now, you can order just one nozzle or a couple of them or two. So you have a spare, you know, in case something happens. So, okay, uh, I'm gonna work on inflating the boat with the right PSI and stuff like that. Uh, I don't wanna bring up new names stuff like that but the Chinese boat is less expensive than the American boat and when I ordered it after three months I still didn't get everything and I had to return every everything and then it was a, a, a mess you know you're trying to be local but it's, it's not uh, working out, guys. So, you know, yeah, I know that sucks. But uh, 
yeah so let's work on inflating the boat okay i'll be right all right guys so um this is your owner manual your brace and uh of course inside of it or like safety measure and stuff like that the psi how much you should be the tubes the pontoon 3.6 the floor 10 psi so uh you know the the usual stuff uh what to do how to maintain your breeze and uh wear a life vest and you know uh they're telling you how to uh, uh, not all some have um, aluminum floor this one doesn't but you know uh not too thick that's cool so uh yeah so i'm gonna proceed in inflating uh the boat step by step all right honestly guys um, it does take a while to uh, get inflated uh, uh, it's a bit noisy over here it's 10 psi so this is only 3 psi okay but there's like one chamber here there's another chamber so it's like if this one would fail then you can rely on this one okay guys last but not least what do you do with this how does it work uh, this is pretty simple that's a clip let me get closer so you can see it so as you can see this clips into this like so you press this little button here like this and then it clipped you can vertical <laughs> hey look at that guys let's say i don't want to like roll like this i can be like a, an amazon native and they just you know like vertical uh, surf like a an Amazon native all right so right here I like this um, being uh, pragmatic that's the word being pragmatic I like the way the Chinese built this book you see these little things right here you unscrew it like this and then over here you see there's a hole side by side coast to coast you come on top over here and you slide it in like this and look it's tied to the boat so they know not because you are not the problem but they know your hands are wet you're underwater sooner or later you're gonna lose the cap so it's tied to the boat you do and undo that's what you call being pragmatic okay you tie it so this way you cannot lose them ever you can roll 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 your boat okay so this is like extremely practical guys convenient i'm trying to find the right word but pragmatic was the right analogy yeah you know you don't just build stuff you you take and concern the people who are going to use it you know sooner or later one is going to go like this no way no how it's screwed in it's screwed in okay if you use it what it meant for then uh, you have no problem the other side same thing we face it okay Okay. Same thing. Drop. Clip it. You press. You press. It's clipped. Roll, roll, roll your boat. Same thing. You unscrew. 
this boat was made to last was made to give you your money worth okay next time i mean you have to give them that guys chinese or or pragmatic come on this is yeah this is to protect your investment you're not gonna lose no ores you're not gonna lose no cap nothing everything it's tied it's made within the boat which means you can't never ever go wrong you know i will not get in the boat with my shoes all right but here okay so actually <laughs> you can roll like this if you're not using it i think it goes in there let me see if you're not using it does it go in there uh oh okay hey, look guys uh if you're not mana i need to do something yes, the viewers cannot see so you see if you're not using it all you have to do is flip it to the side like this that's it and it's resting you have no zero nada to do how about that look it's resting it's made was made for that the other one same thing you flip it and lean it to the side like this or to use space room to the maximum of this is space thinking thinking going to space you have to make sure that you bring the most out of like whatever room that you have you pack the maximum that 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 you can that's really you know i like that uh, thank you okay. yeah because look you see it's it sits it's resting perfectly if you want to use it then it goes up like this you turn you you don't want to use it goes like this flip it to the side look you're using whatever room is available the chinese have used it you see this is not more room it's just re uh, resting on, on the pontoon that's amazing you see that's really really nice guys you know you, you don't just call pe people pragmatic for the record you know this is real look this is not taking no extra room or whatever you see it's not no obstacle look this much quality or ever i'm gonna be uh, uh, completely honest with you guys uh it misses like a fishing rod holder but that you can install them yourselves so for a guy like myself i would put one here one on the other side one over here you know because it's resting here you cannot put the fishing rod holder there it won't make no sense so you must put the fishing rod holder either here or in the back there like this but uh, there is a problem when you're gonna flip everything so uh, oh yeah well I mean the fishing rod holder you can like take them off when you're not using them they don't have to like uh, stay but yeah this is it guys amazing amazing job this is just amazing yeah so now I got to find a way to put it in the water and uh, try my electric engine and see uh, what's up, what's down. All right. So let's try to do that. So this is it, guys. That said, it was a, it was a good day. Uh, I need to get some wheels for the grease. Uh, if you have wheels you can carry it by yourself otherwise it becomes complicated you're gonna have to wait for someone to help you but one person can take care of it if you buy wheels 
and then you just like uh, you know like go, we're off season but otherwise the wheels I was telling you about I could carry it you know like a grocery cart if this the gate was open because we're off season this is not sober we're in April so it's one of those where days where it's 15 degrees so I said let me give it a try so now I must deflate the boat Just like this, inflating that boat is peanuts, okay? Inflating that boat, look. There are other stuff, boat on the market where two guys, half an hour, we still cannot get here. Now, this one, all you do is press a button and uh, turn it clockwise and whoosh, look. Within a minute. Oh, I took off the seeds. It's pretty much all done. What's left is, like I said, I like the fact that the front on is hard. It's built with, uh, with within the boat. So uh, 
that's cool so i'm gonna fold it show you guys how it's done and then we'll close the video and thank you for watching hold on today the special word is pragmatic and it says it all So it's like this to fold this like this and this like this. That's why I call this being pragmatic. That's it. You don't need to be a genius, huh? But that, that's how you do it. Good. Oh my God. Ooh. This is how you do it. And of course, yeah, that's how it was in the box. That's pretty simple. And now I'm gonna call my wife to uh, help me. Uh, that's my car down there. The truck is open, so I'm just. Whew. So I'm just gonna, you know. Uh, that's the part that I cannot carry. You won't be able to carry it alone. So, uh, unless if I could back up, there's a chain. It's fence. But if the this wasn't fence, I would just back up my car. And then what I would do, like this. Look, what I would do if I'm by myself, but I am allowed to... Uh, get my car closer I would just lift one side put it in the van lift the other but now I can't because <laughs> my car is across the, the, the street so uh, yeah now I can uh, how was it again uh, I think it's yeah this yeah <laughs> okay thank you for watching guys hopefully when the nice weather show up his nose and come back, we'll have more fun video, more fishing uh, fun video, you know. Today was about the breeze. It's from China, delivers, they got the job done. It's below $1,500, 1.5K, uh, if you like. It's got everything, nothing is missing. Okay, so thank you for watching. You do something for me. Take care, always.